Let us now consider how the Eucharist helps us in becoming true Christian disciples. Will you also go away? Jesus asks the twelve. The Catechism reminds us that there is a deeper meaning behind these words. It is not just a question that is answerable by a yes or a no. Rather, it is an invitation for the Twelve and now for us to discover who He really is. That He has the words of eternal life. That He is the very word that gives eternal life. Brothers and sisters, I encourage you to recall this loving invitation each time you listen to the Word of God proclaimed at Mass, as you receive Jesus' body and blood in communion, and marvel at Him who comes to us. Who is He that I am receiving? Who is He to me? This is Christ, the one who loves me and gives me life. Only then would our Amen echo what Simon Peter professed in today's Gospel. I believe that what I am receiving is the bread of life. It is the body of Christ. He is the Holy One of God. Now, if we believe that it is Him whom we receive at communion, then there must be a corresponding transformation in us. In a vision, the Lord told St. Augustine, You will not change me into yourself like bodily food, but you will be changed into me. Friends, at communion, Jesus assimilates us to Himself that we might become like Him. And what was He like? In the scriptures, we see Him as the friend of the poor and all those pushed to the margins, as comforter and healer of those who suffer. We see Him as one who proclaims the good news that God comes to rule and as one who obeys the Father's will. He is the one who loves fully. Are we becoming like Him, brothers and sisters? It is good to ask ourselves, what blocks my being transformed into Christ, the one I receive in the Eucharist? Now, while you are searching for the answers, let us listen to some reflections on an aspect of this theme. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI once said, While the Eucharist unites us to Christ, we open ourselves to others, making us members of one another. We are no longer divided, but one thing in Him. And then, according to Pope Francis, the Eucharist is the sacrament of communion that takes us out of our individualism so that together we live our discipleship, our faith in Him. So friends, becoming like Christ means to live in communion with one another just as He did. Is my discipleship only for my personal sanctification and good? Am I a Christian in union with and at the service of others? The Lord Himself tells us, This is how all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. We cannot say that we are like Christ if we do not see the wounds of each other. We cannot say that we are like Christ if we are indifferent to the suffering of others. We cannot say that we are like Christ if we do not recognize a brother or sister in someone in need. Friends, we will only grow in our discipleship if we allow Jesus to infuse us with His life. Whenever we hear His life-giving word and receive His body and blood in the Eucharist, let us be open to be transformed into His likeness, His love, and service. Let us follow His way. It might be a tough challenge, but let us not forget that we can always draw strength and hope from the Eucharist.